velocity constant that is called Poisson's ratio. So we will determine Poisson's ratio denoted by sigma of a rubber. And some apparatus required here, I will show you, this is the entire apparatus where there is a graduated glass tube which is bored at the center of a rubber cork attached to the metallic frame and this is a cycle tube of 1 meter length having some particular area of cross section and this tube is firmly attached to a metallic slip at the upper portion. Similarly, a metallic slip here also it is attached to this metallic frame where a pointer is sliding over a graduated scale. This is a graduated scale and it is this pointer is sliding over this graduated scale. And these are the three leveling screws to keep the body vertical. These three leveling screws are to keep the entire apparatus vertical. So these two metallic slips are to fix the rubber tube very firmly to this metallic bracket and it is sliding over two rods when load is applied this pointer will slide over these two rods. These are the two rods and it will slide along these rods. So the hook here which is attached to the metallic frame, to this hook load will be supplied. So these are the loads, each load is 500 gram. This long hanger is also 500 gram and we will be given including this hanger 2500 gram. This is 500 and another 4 slots like this it will be provided altogether 2500 gram load will be provided. There is a meter scale required, this is a meter scale required in the apparatus and there is a piece of thread which is required. So these are the apparatus required in the experiment. Then how it functions? The aim of the experiment is Poisson's ratio of a rubber. So Poisson's ratio, it is an elastic constant which is the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain within elastic limit. So we will do this experiment within elastic limit. Beyond that, it will give a permanent deformation. So the value of sigma is given in the working formula which is in the theory part that is sigma is equal to half sigma is equal to half multiplied with 1 minus 1 by A into dV divided by dL.
this is the working formula in the experiment where A is the area of cross section of this rubber tube, BV a small change in volume after load is supplied, DL a small change in length that can be measured from the point pointer which is sliding over a scale. So these three parameters we will determine from the experiment. Now let us describe regarding the apparatus. What happens in the experiment when load is given to the hook which is attached at the lower end of the tube, the length of the rubber tube is elongated. At the same time, diameter of the tube decreases. Similarly, volume of the rubber tube increases. So three things happen when we will supply some load to the rubber tube. One is elongation of the tube along the direction of the load applied. That means along the direction of the deforming force. Number two, diameter will decrease and number three volume will increase. So these three things will happen. So we can understand this, suppose this is a support and this is a robot tube. So this is a length of the rubber tube and this is DL. Similarly here this is diameter but this, this is D minus del D. So, the ratio that is sigma is equal to lateral strain to longitudinal strain. So, what is lateral strain when the load is applied or force is applied to the rubber tube, there is a change in length perpendicular to the direction of the force applied. Force is applied longitudinally along the, if we supply the load like this, then force is applied along this direction vertically downwards. So here the length of the tube is elongated. At the same time diameter decreases that means laterally there is a change in length that is called lateral strain. That is change in diameter to original diameter. That is del D is the decrease in diameter. So, this lateral strain is del D divided by D because change in diameter to original diameter and this is negative because this negative is indicating the decrease in diameter. Longitudinal strain longitudinal strain that is del L 
divided by L. Change in length to original length. Both are unitless because all are numbers having no units and no dimensions. It is a unitless quantity that is sigma whose value ranges from minus 1 to half. In actual practice, the value starts from 0 to 0 0.5. This is the value of sigma that is Poisson's ratio. So, what happens when load is applied to the body, to the tube? This tube is elongated along the direction of the force applied. So, there is a longitudinal strain that is change in length to original length. At the same time, volume is increased. As a result, the diameter of this robot tube decreases. So, if diameter of the robot tube is originally capital D, then after the load is spread, decrease, decrease in value, that is del D. And this is negative because the strain is negative here and it is applied perpendicular to the direction of the deforming force. So, volume increases, diameter decreases and length increases. These three things happen. Let us come to the experiment. Now, we will see at the dead load 0, what is the reading? Let us come to the procedure of the experiment, how to take readings. So, here we will see the lower meniscus, that is the reading is 5.1. So, we will enter here reading of the meniscus, meniscus reading that is V0 here that is 5.1. V0 is equal to 5.1 at the same time we will note down the pointer reading which is sliding over the graduated scale and the value it gives 48.5 and this is 48.5. This is in centimeter and this is in cc, cubic centimeter. So, Initially, we will note down the value from the graduated glass tube and we will watch tangential and parallel to the lower meniscus and it is 5.1 and similarly point of is sliding over 48.5 when load is 0. Now we will provide load. Second observation load is 500 gram. We will provide the load to the hook. Sir? 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 Even at the lower end of the tube. Lala Tendu sir? Hello? Sir? Sir, कुछ बोल रहा है सर 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 very gently and slowly we will provide सर the load without applying any external force and we will wait to 
two to three minutes because it will take some time to give. a change sir after 2 to 3 minutes sir sir buffering ho raha hai sir 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 mera ho raha hai ya aapka ho raha hai sir sir lag ho raha hai sir ho raha hai sir sir ab piche le lijiye sir sir buffering sir kya ho raha hai ek baat kar lijiye sir now we will see सर वीडियो लैग कर रहा है सी सर मिश्र साहब नेट टिकट ठीक नहीं की सर मिश्र साहब सर 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 वो फिजिक्स वाला सर थोड़ा ग्रुप चेक कीजिएगा तो सहायक मंडल सर रोल्ड सेवन फोर्टी सेवन आई फोर्टी सेवन सर तो वो आज अटेंड नहीं कर पाएगा क्लास क्यों तो वो कुछ लिखा है सर उनके ग्रैंडफादर का सर कुछ तबियत खराब है सर रितिक महान के भी लिखा है ग्रैंडफादर का डेथ हो गया तो सर वो अटेंड नहीं कर पाएगा सर वो चला गया अभी तक ठीक तो वो व्हाट्सएप पे लिख चुका है स मिश्र सर शायद वहां पे नेटवर्क में कोई तकलीफ हुआ है हाँ सर 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 प्रॉब्लम 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 ठीक ठीक है है कंटिन्यू 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 कर 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 ना it gives 48.5 and this is 48.5 this is in centimeter and this is in cc cubic centimeter so initially we will note down the value from the graduated glass tube and we will watch tangentially and parallel to the lower meniscus and it is 5.1 and similarly point of the sliding over 48.5 when load is zero now we'll provide load second observation load is 500 g we'll provide the load to the hook given at the lower end of the tube very gently and slowly we will provide the load without applying any external force and we will wait 2 to 3 minutes because it will take some time to give a change after 2 to 3 minutes again we will see now we will see the meniscus is falling down because volume is increased so pointer also comes down so we will note down these two readings simultaneously this is 5.6 so here this is 5.6 and this l2 is 48.2 this is 48.2 after some time again we will provide the load gently that is a flat surface very slowly without disturbing the apparatus put the load 
and maintain same time. If initially we have taken two minutes, same two minutes we will wait. After that, we will see the changes in both the tube and the pointer. So this gives now lower ministers that is 6.1. So this is 6.1 and the pointer reading is 47.8 this is 47.8 in this way we will go on providing the loads one after the other maintaining the time these are all slotted weights very gently we have to provide Again maintain the same time after 2 minutes, note down the readings from the graduated tube, this is 6.7 and pointer reading is 47.2, this is 47.2 and this is 6.7 so in this way we will go on again wait for the same time note on the reading now it comes 7.7 and pointer reading is 46.6 46.6 and this is 7.5 and the last load that is 2500 gram entire load Maintain the same time, after the required time, note down the reading from the burette. Now the reading is 8.5 and pointer reading is 46. This is 46 and this is 8.5. So, in this way, we will note down the readings here. That is load increasing column in place of this, we will write here 48 48.5, 48.2, 47.8, 47.2, 46.8. Uh, 500 gram 48.5 48.2 this is 47.8 this is 47.2 this is 46.6 and this is 46 so here the increasing value in place of this we should enter the values here Similarly, increasing reading that is meniscus reading we will enter here that is 5 6.1, 6.7, 7.5, 8.5. In place of this column we should enter the values because this is load increasing column. So we should not write here. Now your, we will proceed to decrease the loads one by one but maintaining the same time. So after the load, entire load is given, now we will go on 
decreasing the loads i will remove one load now the load is 2000 now the load is 2000 so for 2500 this value will be written here that is same 46 and similarly meniscus reading will be here 8.5 so before we remove one load for 2500 the same reading will be entered into the table then after one load will be withdrawn and maintain the same time 2 minutes or 3 minutes whatever we have taken initially now see the reading from the pointer and from the glass tube this is 8.4 this is 8.4 so we will enter here and pointer reading is 46 point Three. This is forty-six point three. We will enter here in load decreasing column because we are decreasing the loads now. Remove another load slowly without any external force from our hand. And after the same time, wait for some time. Now see the changes simultaneously. The reading is now seven point eight, and pointer reading is forty-six point five. This is forty-six point five. This is seven point eight. again we will proceed in the same way one after the other removing the loads maintaining time now we will see the reading again after the same time now the reading is 7.1 this is the bullet reading and this is 47.2 Forty-seven point two, and this is seven point two. We will proceed in the same way. Remove it slowly. Wait for the same time. Note down the readings again. This is six point five, and the pointer reading is forty-seven point eight. then this is the last load to be withdrawn and after the required time what you have taken initially note down both readings this is 6.1 and pointer reading is 6.2 so this is 48 and this is 6.1 our job is over in the experiment now let us come to the tabulation part so here the mean value we will find that is l0 is 48.05 l1 r these two that is x plus y by 2 doing this you we will calculate all these values for l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 using this formula similarly v1 
that is a plus b by 2 adding these two dividing by 2 we get b2 b3 b4 b5 after you get this then what are the changes so initially the change is l1 minus l0 this is 48 something we will get here l1 minus l0 here also we will get because change in pointer that is all values will be subtracted from the initial value similarly change in length that is this is in change in volume not length this is change in volume so each value will subtracted from the initial value here v1 minus v0 v2 minus v0 that means all the values will be subtracted v3 will be v3 minus v0 here v4 minus v0 v4 we will get here adding these two dividing by two similar v4 minus v0 this value minus the initial value so these are the two important columns from the table and we will plot a graph taking change in volume along y axis because this is so now we can fill up the table then after graph starts so this is 340 exactly at uh, 4 to take 22 uh, 20 minutes complete the table then after we will start the graph everyone has received the assignment yes sir ok now we can start complete the table <clears throat> Sir, the column uh, which you have shown in the video, that is change in DL and change in VD, it is not given in the manual. So, can we write it separately? Means not uh, within the table given, because I have already made the table. You can add, otherwise you don't add. Uh, you can find the graph between the two columns, uh, that is L and D, and whenever you will find the two points from the line obviously that will be the change real and dv but yes if, or we can uh, also separately column, you see if you add these two columns for change in length and change in volume then the, your first observation becomes zero zero so obviously you should not uh, uh, take any point at the origin immediately you can start zero zero but uh, uh, if you are not taking this change in length change in volume column then you have to Decide the scale carefully. Otherwise, it may not uh, go through the origin. It may uh, come to meet any axis. So, please don't connect the line to any axis, either x-axis or y-axis. You simply draw the best fit line, and from that line, you find the two points, random points, and from that, you find the the change in volume and change in length. Between two uh, points, uh, random points, if you find the change, then that is obviously DL and DD. But okay, if you sir. add these two columns, then simply your first observation becomes 0, 0 for both length and volume. That is DL0, DD0. So you can start the origin uh, from 0. Sir. Yes. Sir, like uh, uh, we have given that um, uh, set, sir, just we will draw uh, a distorted line and uh, we will not start from origin, we will start from, means that the uh, reading starts from 11 or uh, like 10, our reading is starting from 11. Sir, okay. we will apply it. Link. We can start, we can start. Okay, sir. But uh, try to draw the line, best fit line, number one and number two. 80% of the graphs should be covered. Yes, sir. Sir, it is not necessary to draw the best fit line from origin, no? 
we can draw it from not required if you are not adding these two columns then not required to take it through the origin okay okay sir thank you sir so exactly at 4:10 we will uh, again start please complete the table by this time Mr. Sir. Hello. Is it audible? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes, sir. Have you made a table? Yes, sir. Made. 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 हम्म सर डीएलडी भी निकालना है क्या डीएलडी क्या है सर बोर्ड पे दिया हुआ है सर बनाया डीएल और डीएल अच्छा बोला ना वही तो स्लो में तुम डायरेक्ट निकालो उसको सर लेकिन लैब मैनुअल में नहीं दिया है ये सर लैब मैनुअल नहीं है ये सर ऑलरेडी टेबल बना चुके हैं सर बोले सर बोल लें जिसको अगर ओरिजिन से ग्राफ चाहिए वो दो टेबल बनाएगा नहीं तो फिर अगर नहीं चाहिए तो ओरिजिन से वो ग्राफ नहीं आएगा
مشنا شهر فون کو کون ہم نے چلے دبا باقی آج اچھی سمے دبا Is it over now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did yes, sir. And this is... Okay, okay, Mr. Sir, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Samridhi, respond your role, Samridhi. Samridhi, are you there? Satya? Yes, sir. Satya, brother? Present, sir. Satya? Present, sir. Sayak Mandal, Sayak Nahi hai? Sir, Sayak Mandal, 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 Sayam Chattopadhyay. Sir, present. Shivam. Present, sir. Shivam. Present, sir. Present, sir. Present, sir. Sobhagya. Present, sir. Pransu. Present, sir. Sajana. Present, sir. Supriya. 
प्रेजेंट सर स्वप्ना जी प्रेजेंट सर नहीं तो रेस्पोंड करना चाहिए ना अमीश यस सर अंकित सिन्हा अंकित सिन्हा अंकित सेनापति प्रेजेंट सर अनुराग दास प्रेजेंट सर अनुष्का श्रुति प्रेजेंट सर अनिल घोष प्रेजेंट सर अंकित कुमार प्रेजेंट सर कल्याण झा यस सर आशीष पटनायक प्रेजेंट सर आशुतोष राउत आशुतोष राउत थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम कर रहा है चमन प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सर कितना प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सर नजीम सर हितेश प्रेजेंट सर रितिक रितिक मांडी सर व्हाट्सएप में लिखा था उसने कार्तिक प्रेजेंट सर दोस्तों प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल प्रेजेंट सर नील प्रेजेंट सर लवी प्रेजेंट सर यूस प्रेजेंट सर प्रेमचंद्र प्रेजेंट सर लियाम प्रेजेंट सर यश प्रेजेंट सर यश का राणा जाय प्रेजेंट सर अभिराज प्रेजेंट सर शिव चक्रवर्ती प्रेजेंट सर विशाल प्रसाद प्रेजेंट सर कृष्णा सिंह प्रेजेंट सर मुद्रा नील प्रेजेंट सर अरबा जी प्रेजेंट सर जी प्रेजेंट सर उत्तम प्रेजेंट सर सुमी प्रेजेंट सर आईनी प्रेजेंट सर दिव्या प्रेजेंट सर जी प्रकाश प्रेजेंट सर रामपाल प्रेजेंट सर सिद्धांत राज प्रेजेंट सर सोम पत्रा प्रेजेंट सर मेनु दास ओरिन मुखर्जी प्रेजेंट सर कौन दास चेक टू यूनिवर्सिटी हां यार लेम टू यूनिवर्सिटी सुब्रा दास प्रेजेंट सर प्रसाद प्रेजेंट सर प्रतिम प्रेजेंट सर सरिता प्रेजेंट सर दीप प्रेजेंट सर यार सुया प्रेजेंट सर तो तारीख प्रेजेंट सर उत्तल प्रेजेंट सर विवेश प्रेजेंट सर शंकर प्रेजेंट सर चाल प्रेजेंट सर अमन प्रेजेंट सर दीपन्यान दीपन्यान कामिला अभिजीत आनंद प्रेजेंट सर आदर्श प्रेजेंट सर आकाश प्रेजेंट सर आनंद प्रेजेंट सर अनन्या चौधरी प्रेजेंट सर अनन्या सिंह अनन्या सिंह अंकित सरन प्रेजेंट सर अमिता प्रेजेंट सर अन्ना अमिता प्रेजेंट सर प्रिया प्रेजेंट सर अमन प्रेजेंट सर अंकार प्रेजेंट सर प्रियम आर्यन प्रसाद प्रेजेंट सर आशीष प्रेजेंट सर वैष्णवी प्रेजेंट सर प्रिया प्रेजेंट सर अनन्या सिंह दीपन्यन कामिला शुभम दास तो नहीं है अंकित सिन्हा प्रेजेंट सर 
क्या अरे तुम लोग मजाक कर रहे हो अभी नहीं थे अभी आए क्या नहीं है पहले से था माइकलेस था तुम तुम आई कैप्टिव अंडर ऑब्जर्वेशन हैंस को सायक मंडल तो नहीं है समृद्धि भी नहीं है सर 843 प्रेजेंट माइक ऑफ कर सेट हाँ सर 843 माइक ऑफ समृद्धि प्रेजेंट है सर वो माइक ऑन करके बोलिए लेकिन उनको साउंड नहीं आ सर सेवन सिक्सटी थ्री प्रेजेंट सर नेटवर्क इश्यू था तो डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए थे क्या बार बार बोल रहे हो नेटवर्क इश्यू था ये था वो था वो सब कैसे सुनेगा सर समृद्धि प्रेजेंट है सर सेवन फोर्टी टू उसका माइक कौन है फिर भी उसका साउंड नहीं आ रहा बार बार समृद्धि को बुला रहे हैं सुनाई नहीं दे रहा है उसको तो उसका माइक कौन है सर लेकिन साउंड नहीं आ रहा ठीक है अटेंडेंस दे दिया एट सिक्स वन का भी माइक साउंड नहीं होता है मिश्रा सर क्या स्टार्ट कर दो आप इंडिपेंडेंट सो वी विल प्लॉट ए ग्राफ हियर दैट इज डी एल इन सी एम एंड डी वी that is in cc we will choose a scale that is one small scale division along x axis how much similarly one small division along y axis is how much this is in cc and this is in ca so we will choose the scale first before we plot a graph then we will get the points for six observations and we will draw in such a way that it will go passing through the origin so after that we will randomly choose two points from the line we will draw a right angle triangle and this value is dv this value is dl so dv by dl is the working in the working formula and 1 minus 1 by a where a is the area of cross section area of cross section which is equal to pi d square by 4 where d is the diameter of this rubber tube to measure this we will take the help of a piece of thread so we will take the circumference of it like this because pi d is the circumference of this rubber tube so this is the value that is pi d or 2 pi r which is circumference of the rubber tube and this can be measured from the scale this can be measured from the scale this is 10.2 so 10.2 is the circumference of this rubber tube and we will put here that is pi d is equal to 10.2 cm therefore d is equal to 10.2 divided by 3.141 so we will get the diameter of the tube and after you get this value of d we will put here to calculate area of cross section so after all these things we will go to the working formula given in place of a we will put the value for area of cross section then dv by dl which we have got from the graph we will put here and the value will come around 0 to 0.5 in between so this is the range of the value of proportions ratio so 
it starts from minus 1 to 0 0.5 this is the range or sigma but in practice we will get the value in between 0 to 0 0.5 so the most important things here we will follow some precautions number one we will while noting down the reading from the glass tube graduated glass tube we will always see parallelly tangentially to the lower meniscus number two we will coincide the pointer to the graduated scale carefully we will note down number three while providing loads we will provide in such a way that no external force should be supplied number four this rubber tube should not have any air bubble inside so and number five after providing load or withdrawing load everywhere we will maintain the same time because it will take some time to get a change in strain thank you sir sir hello sir submit kar diya sir submit kar diye Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Leave. 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 Sir, meeting leave. 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 Minimum two, maximum point. Okay, sir. Okay. I have two digits. I have written zero point four. Okay. 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 Sir, point four to five are sir. Okay. Okay. What happened? Itna sare baat kya kar rahe ho? Idhar main baat kar raha hu. Team sir, 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 kya itna? Kya problem hai? Sir, din lo kar ho gaya. Chalo. Explain. Explain. Complete. Bache log kya hua? अभी देखो दो जन दो दो जन छोड़ के चले गए सर सबमिट कर दिया सर कंप्लीट हो गया सर मैट्रिक्स का सबमिट कर दी यस यस सर यस सर कंप्लीट अच्छा ना नहीं कुछ नहीं कर रही है और आज ऐसे ही सबमिट कर दे रही है सर सर पूरा करके सबमिट किया सर सब चलो ठीक है अच्छा है सर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट फोर वन नाइन आ रहा है सर � सर मेरा पॉइंट फोर्टी फाइव आ रहा है। थैंक यू सर। सर मीट लीप कर देना। 